today is a really big day because uh, I have the trailer on and we're heading a bit west here in Sweden and we're going up to pick up a project that uh, don't really exist here in Sweden. You have already said the thumbnail so you get an idea about what it is and what condition it is in but uh, a, I haven't seen the, the car yet but projects or the these kind of cars in this condition they don't appear in Sweden they, they didn't sell a lot of new Mopars here in Sweden we had a lot of Chevys a very lot of Chevys mostly Chevys and uh, Ford and not a lot of Mopars and uh, so you don't get those neglected cars that has been sitting for a long while we had a lot of cars imported here through the 70s 80s and 90s but uh, most often they don't end up in a condition like this. This is an uh, import car. It has been in Sweden for 10 years and it was very rusty when it came here and it has been used as a donor. So it's in really, really bad condition and it's even worse because of an accident that we're gonna look at later. But I couldn't be any more happy about buying this and I'm gonna explain a little more about why this is so special to find here in this condition. So. I'm super excited. I haven't been able to sleep for the last two nights almost because I'm I'm just so thrilled that I'm gonna buy this. This is going to be the most fun project I've ever had. I haven't been this excited for buying a new car in a very long while. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really fun. So uh, I'm gonna drive here about uh, two hours. I'm gonna pick up my dad in the middle and uh, we're gonna see what the hell I have bought and uh, drag it home and we can talk a little bit more about it. I'm gonna try to explain to you why I'm so excited for this thing. So, first of all, what do we got here? We got a 1969 Plymouth satellite. And as you can see, it has seen better days. And uh, it's a 318 car, nothing special, and anything like that. But it's, it's, the right, it's a Tudor hardtop, it's the right body and everything. And the story is that this thing was imported from Florida few, uh, 10 years ago. Ago. So uh, it, the guy he bought it only as a parts car. Apparently, it had a 440, 727. It has the 8 and 3 quarter still there, but apparently, it's an E body 8 and 3 quarter. So you can see the leaf springs are twisted inwards, but it had 456 gears and stuff like that. So it was a drag car, what you drag light car, but uh, not, not a dedicated drag car. But uh, they took it down the strip and it had been sitting on someone's lawn for a lot of years and some i have seen other cars imported from florida and i think it's the salty air from the ocean that causes the cars to rust from the top down instead of from the bottom up because it's really really rust in the roof and I'm, we're gonna talk about the roof but it's super super solid in the frame rails and I mean it's a Mopar so it's got rust in the floors but compared to my 67 Chevelle this is nothing torque torque uh, what you, torsion bar boxes and everything looks good it has some rust here on the floor but nothing we have to do anything about I mean, it's rear frame rails super solid the trunk floor is bad but I mean it's an old Mopar they're never good so in in my opinion the bottom half of the car is super solid which is really great because I can get this thing rolling very fast because we have the 8 and quarter. I got some drive shots with it so I can bolt them in so I can get some wheels on it in the rear. There are a bunch of people going to disc brakes so I can probably get some drum brake spindle assembly really cheap so I can get this thing as a roller and that will be my major first step to get this as a roller. Uh, but uh, besides that we have some obvious problems here with the roof and the thing is he 
as I said, he bought this as a donor. It was never supposed to be anything for him. It was just a junk car. And after he was done with it, he moved it around. And unfortunately, he dropped it from the forklift and it fell on this side. So you can see the door is pretty good except for the window over there the rear quarter that's not a big issue but the thing is the roof and the roof is really really rusty as you can see it's terrible so i i'm not gonna say that it that was good but since the roof was so rusty i think the roof just caved in more instead of pulling the rest of the body with it so i'm not sure how i'm gonna solve the rust maybe i just patch it patch it to hell or we get the new roof skin but uh, you can see here the roof is almost completely off in the b-pillar but i think we can take the forklift here and do some pulls here to make it look a hell of a lot better i need to find a rear windshield so i can start looking uh, making the windshield uh, the rear rear glass hole the right shape also you can see how rusty it is here i saw some pictures of this when he bought it and uh, the this what do you call it the De deck filler panel was in the right spot at that time but apparently he opened the trunk and all of this fell through and i have a picture of that so it obviously needs a lot of repair here but uh, otherwise it looks pretty good over here and you can see the floors in here look really decent i would say we got a steering column we got three out of four door panels we got the window mechanisms so we got a lot of stuff for this even i didn't see that we did we had the trim for the headlights that was is a bonus so that's really good even we have the both hood hinges i didn't realize that either so we got a lot of stuff that costs money to get so i believe that i can get this running with really really low cost the basic things i really need right now is a differential for the rear axle we need to buy brakes that's not a big thing we need to get some spindles and brakes for the front if we go disc brakes or drums i don't know right now but i think i can get this on the streets again really really cheaply i have the title and all of the paperwork with importing it here to sweden so i can register this in sweden get the license plate for it and drive it legally on the streets so i mean even the doors are fully savable the rockers are pretty solid all the way back to here i mean of course the rear quarters are rusty but that's not a big issue so i really think that this is a great project to start with the roof is what it is but i think we can make it look a lot nicer which i'm going to start with today unfortunately he hacked out this to get the, this quarter window glass out but uh, yeah hard to complain and uh, yeah you can see over here how rusty it is but i have i think i have all the trim for the rear windshield and a lot of small stuff that is hard and expensive to find so yeah i'm not sure how i'm gonna describe explain myself here but okay i paid 600 bucks for this thing and i think that even in america that would be considered a good price for a lot of odds and ends if you wanted to part this thing out i believe the rear quarter housing the rear axle housing would be like two or three hundred bucks the fr complete front suspension about the same we got some windows we got window regulators the front fenders are savable yeah there's a lot of stuff that you can use on this the steering column so i can get my money back anytime and i think as i said i think that would, it would be worth that in america either way and even if let's say i bought this in america for 600 bucks i have to pay like i think it's 1200 bucks in container shipping from america to sweden plus taxes and other fees and also i have to depending on how far away from the harbor it is i have to pay shipping within the us so that those costs adds up a lot i found a shellinger a 1970 shellinger i really dream of having one on a marketplace for a thousand bucks that's really cheap it was about in the same condition condition as this without the roof damage and they want a thousand bucks for that and i was like damn it i'm gonna buy that and then i took contact with a friend who lives over in america and 
he, he wanted 1400 bucks for the shipping within the US and 1200 bucks for shipping it in the container and with all the fees and everything it would be five five thousand dollars before i had it at my front door so a uh, a car that is a thousand bucks becomes five thousand bucks so and now i have this for 600 bucks and i picked it up two hours from home so i i couldn't really be any more happy with this so i hope you understand why it was worth for me buying this and why i want to save it i mean a if this was if this was a complete car and wasn't rolled over and maybe not as rusty, it would be a 15 plus thousand dollar car. And now I have this for 600 bucks and I have a lot of money over to make it run and drive and make something fun of it. And I, when I'm done with this, I can drive it however I want. I can use it in the winter, drift around in the snow, use it all year long and whatever. So. I'm really, I really enjoy cars that I can use with a good conscience. I wouldn't be able to buy one of these for $25,000 and then just take it out and thrash it in the snow. If I wrap the rear quarter around the pole, yeah, we can just smash it out again. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm super, super thrilled to be able to buy this. So uh, the plan right now is uh, since we have a little time here for today, I want to make some light pulls in the roof to see if we can get it to become a little bit uh, nicer because if you look at the car like this it looks pretty good but this a pillar is forced over that way and i think if we start pulling that way this will come over and the roof will start to pull up but we'll see how good we can make it look i definitely think we can make it look a little better maybe we can get something in here and try to get this dent dent out or something so i'm gonna see how much we can do here today so i rigged up a camera there so that we can film over there and see how the roof acts and um, i think i forgot to tell you that why i'm keeping it on the trailer because it would be a lot easier to work more down on the ground but the car is strapped to the trailer so we have the weight of the trailer hanging it down so that i can get more pulling force on the roof without the car lifting as i said i don't think this roof will be very sturdy because mostly because it's an old car but also because of the rust so i think we're going to be able to pull it out pretty easily so we're gonna try it So I'm inside a car here and 
What I'm struggling with is I would really like a straight pull right here of the quarter, but I don't want to weld, start welding stuff to the quarter to pull it or drill holes or stuff like that. I want to keep it intact for now at least. We, I just want to see what we can do here today. But uh, something I saw here is that it's obvious that the B pillar is pretty far in. I didn't see this earlier. So I think I'm gonna take a strap around here and try to pull the B pillar out. So we we'll see if we can accomplish that. That should straighten out a few things. And uh, this uh, trunk supports, or what do you wanna call them? They're completely rusted off except for there. So I'm gonna cut that. Amazing that I have to cut something to get something removed here. But uh, then I can get the, the, uh, the trunk lid off because it's in the way whatever I do and I can't really stand here and work here. And there's a million sharp edges that I don't want to cut myself on. So if I can stand a little better, it would be great. So I'm going to cut that, put a strap here and see if we can get the P-pillar out a bit. We got the rear quarter decent, but I'm worried about this door gap. So I lifted it up in the rear and it didn't do much. But uh, what I want to do is want to take the, I don't know, is, is it called a port of, power, port of power in English? I don't know, but the hydraulic ram so that I can push this, try to push from there over here to see if we can get this to line up. And maybe that will force it forward a bit. We'll see, but it needs to come out anyway. And that will also improve the rear quarter. So I'm going to get that and uh, see if we can push this out. So unfortunately, my last clip when I started pulling in the rear quarter got uh, cut off after 30 seconds where it was like a 15 minutes long with me doing all kinds of stuff to the rear quarter to make it this good at least. So that's really sad that uh, I lost that footage for some reason the camera cut off. But that's life. So um, yeah, you just have to continue with this, try to get the B pillar out. This, that will make the whole quarter better and then we're gonna try and pull up the roof further here but uh, i mean the roof it's so bad it's so flimsy so it's hard to pull it and it just flexes back so there's no strength there was not a lot of strength to it so it squished and now there's not a lot of strength to it to hold it back where i want it but we're gonna see if we can make this a uh, little bit better and we're gonna pull it a bit on the roof so i was using this or i tried to use it and Ever since I bought this, it has been a piece of junk. It has never worked right. I have filled oil. It's supposed to work straight out of the box, but I've been filling oil. It doesn't disappear anywhere. I, I really don't know what's wrong with this thing. But uh, what I realized was that I couldn't open the door from the outside, but it is possible to open it from the inside and it actually, actually opens really nice. And then I'm in that, since I opened it, I managed to close it fully and if I do that, it doesn't actually look all that bad. I can see that this is a bit twisted inward here. So it might be that this will turn out better if we make a pull from here, pulling it forward. But uh, we don't really have time for that today. So I'm going to call it good for the... We, there is a bunch of more we have to do to this. So don't you worry, we're going to do a lot more. But for now, I don't really have much more time. So I'm just going to make a little pull here to make the windshield hole a little more straight and uh, then we'll be done for the day. So this is where we'll be ending it for today. I'm really curious about why this door gap has become like this. I, if you think about how it landed on this side on the roof, I really don't see why this frame rail will be pushed down enough to make that. But I don't know, maybe it's just the quarter panel being 
crush down like that because it's folding a bit over here. So maybe we can just pull it upwards this way. I can see that it's folded in a bit like this. And when I had some pressure on the B pillar, I could open and close the door, but now it's really hard to open. So obviously the B pillar needs to come out a bit and it needs to be pulled forward a bit. So we have a lot of do. I just wanted to make some rough pulls here to make it look like a car again. I'm really happy with how the quarter turned out. The roof has, has at least has some resemblance of the original roof line. It needs to, I'm not really sure what the problem is here, but obviously this is too far down. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be pulled forward a bit. Maybe that will pull everything like this, but this roof, there's not much holding it on, so it's hard to make something straight that barely is some metal at all. So, yeah. Either way, I'm really, really happy with the satellite. I'm really looking forward to working on this thing. In the best words, I would just take the Chevelle out of the garage and drive it and dump it in the woods because I would so much more prefer to work on this thing, but I need to finish the Chevelle. But the plans right now is First of all, make it a roller. That will be our number one priority. We're going to go around and fix some dents and stuff like that. But besides that, I really want to get this thing running and driving in some capacity so that it is a car again. I'm going to send in the paperwork so that I can start the process of registration so that we can somewhere down the line get plates for this. So yeah, we'll see. But uh, I'm really, really excited. I hope you want to see more of it. Unfortunately, I... I lost the two most important clips today when I was working on it and uh, when I was talking to the previous owner and he told the story about it, but camera issues, that's life sometimes, but uh, anyway, hope you're looking forward to it and I will see you in my next video.